Former First Lady Michelle Obama's mother is portrayed on the new Showtime series, The First Lady, and Emmy-nominated actress Regina Taylor plays the role. Take a look. I can't have you backseat driving. They want to turn me into a black Martha Stewart? I will pick my team, choose my causes, understood? You knew what you were getting into. You kept your political dreams a secret from me. I'll be here for you. But I am going to be myself. My hands are tied. Don't push me off. I am your wife, not one of your girlfriends. Oh, that looks good. Regina Taylor joins us now with more on her role in The First Lady. It's so good to have you with us, Regina. Good morning. Okay, I think you're muted. So if you're able to unmute yourself on there, let's try it again. Can you hear me? I want to hear you. I can hear you. Okay, you. there we go. We can hear you now. What an, what an interesting it's one look. Of those days. I get it. Hey, listen, we all have those. Yes. We really do. But even just watching this teaser to this, Regina, and the first ladies that are featured, I mean, this looks so, so good. How did it feel for you to sign on to be a part of this project? Very exciting uh, to work on a project, uh, one with Viola Davis, with Michelle Pfeiffer with Gillian Anderson and this host of just incredible actors. The ensemble is so strong, the writing is so strong, the directing is so strong. I'm excited to see it, uh, to see these first ladies and where they came from, how they came to be the women that we know, but also what's behind the scenes, uh, those, those stabilizing factors, the the people, the, the husbands, the, mm -hmm. the mothers, the fathers, the children that support them, lifted them up uh, so that they could have these very strong voices that resonate with us today. Yeah, the support group, including Marion Shields Robinson, the mother of Michelle Obama. So, so give us some insight into how you prepared for this role. I mean, who did you speak with? Did you watch videos? Like, how did you, how did you get into character to play Miss Marion? Yes. Uh, one, reading Michelle Obama's book, and she's always crediting her mother and her both parents as a source of strength for her. Uh, I uh, talk to people who uh, know the Obamas. I uh, watched a lot of video. Mm -hmm. And it is just such an honor to play this role. And when she came into the White House, uh, that was when I was introduced to her, to say, yes, she is bringing her mother, she is bringing her roots into the White House to maintain a stability, maintain that strength, and to pass it on in terms of the children. Yeah, it was it was very cool to see then, and it, I'm so glad that that's going to be you know included as a part of this too. I mean, it has to feel like such a big moment for you to be able to bring part of Michelle Obama's story, you know, and being being her mother to the small screen. Like, what an incredible opportunity! I'm guessing that we're going to learn a lot about the family and even you know Michelle's mom, Miss Marion, from watching this. Uh, yes, uh, what Michelle Obama brought to us in terms of being the first African-American first lady, uh, what she supported. Uh, in, in terms of the first women, uh, looking at Eleanor Roosevelt and uh, her position of, of giving voice to women's rights, uh, to uh, Betty Ford and health uh, care, uh, mental and physical health, and also uh, continuing uh, with Michelle Obama as, as well as help. It was about who she was in terms of being an African American in the position on this world stage mm -hmm. and how she carried herself so beautifully yeah. and what support did she sure. have in terms of family, in terms of friends. Uh, a, a gathering of, of, of family and tribe. Yeah, you know, she was leaning a lot on her mother through all of that. So what is it like? I mean, we keep seeing the clip. So we see, obviously, Viola Davis starring as Michelle Obama. What was it like working with her and, and just the cast overall? Yes, I've known her for, I've known Viola for a long time. Uh, uh, she was in a play of mine once in a reading when she was first starting out. I saw her on stages, uh, August Wilson, uh, on uh, both off-Broadway and then on to Broadway. Uh, I saw her in her beginning roles, and I'm just so proud of her.
room with everything that she's accomplished. And here, uh, she is also uh, a producer on this project. So. Very nice. Okay, I have to ask you, I'm so curious. I'm trying to figure out where are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you for asking i wanted to be here so much uh and i got i'm in new york city i got caught in traffic it's a rainy day traffic just halted <laughs> so i jumped out of the car and i found the first restaurant which is juniors it. over okay. in midtown so i'm just outside on the street talking oh with gosh. you <laughs> so you put in some extra effort i said i will us. not be late I love it. Hey, we appreciate it. Atlanta is happy that you did what you had to do to make it on, on air yes, with you us. you got to do what you got to do sometimes. That's right. We sure do appreciate it. What a pleasure to meet you, Regina, and cannot wait to see you in this role on the First Ladies. We sure do Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. And the First Lady premieres on Showtime this Sunday.